Understandest thou what thou readest in the King James Version? I'm going to help you, and you know I can be trusted because I am wearing a Sola Scriptura hat. But first, I have to ask you to pause the video and write down in the comments what you think the key word in this verse means. Let your moderation be known unto all men. What did the KJV translators mean by moderation here? What do you think? Please don't watch the rest of the video until you tell me in the comments. If I get more views than I have comments, I'll know some of you are cheating. I'll tell you what I always thought it meant. Avoidance of extremes. Don't be a die-hard leftist or a die-hard right-winger, maybe. But I believe that moderation in this King James verse is a false friend, a misleading mismatch between Elizabethan English and contemporary English. I'm going to show you how I know this and what Paul really meant, and I'm going to do it fast. There isn't enough context here to tip me off that moderation is a false friend. Paul is just kind of rattling off some final exhortations before he winds up his letter to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord. Let your moderation be known to everybody. Don't be anxious about anything. Instead, pray. Think on true and honorable things. So again, there's nothing in the surrounding sentences to indicate that the King James translators meant something different by moderation than we would mean in a context like this one. The reason I noticed this might be a false friend is that I happened to check other translations. Other translations use gentleness, graciousness, or reasonableness. And none of those things is the same as avoiding extremes. And the Greek word here, according to the most responsible lexicon, BDAG, Bauer, Donker, Arndt, and Gingrich, doesn't mean avoidance of extremes. It means not insisting on every right of letter of law or custom. Yielding is a good translation. Gentle, kind, courteous, tolerant. The word also shows up in Titus 3.2, which urges elders to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. That's the ESV. One commentator suggested meeting people halfway as a good way of explaining this verse, Philippians 4 or 5. I like that. If you check the dictionaries that describe contemporary English, such as this American Heritage Dictionary here, you get what I always thought the word meant in this verse. Mm. Being within reasonable limits, not excessive or extreme. Or Merriam-Webster, avoiding extremes of behavior or expression. Or the new Oxford American Dictionary, avoidance of extremes, especially in one's behavior or political opinions. They give the example sentence, he urged the police to show moderation. But if you check the Oxford English Dictionary, which describes the whole history of English, you'll see a sense that matches the Greek word very well. Originally, the quality of being moderate in harshness or intensity, mildness, clemency. Now this is subtle, but think with me here. The OED says that this precise sense of the word is obsolete, no longer used, but that it later developed into the more general quality of being moderate in conduct or opinion, the avoidance of extreme sense that we now use. The OED sees an evolution here in the word, and that's what happens to words. They change over time. If the Greek word the King James translators were translating means not insisting on every right of letter of law or custom, then clemency in particular fits well. Paul is saying not to be harsh or strict with people when they cross you. Yield to them, be gentle to them, be kind, courteous, and tolerant, as much as lieth in you. Tyndale went for softness here. The Bishop's Bible that the King James translators were revising went for patient mind. Paul isn't saying in this verse, avoid extreme conservatism or extreme liberalism, or avoid eating and drinking too much or too little, or always look for the golden mean between two extreme views. Sure enough, no contemporary English translations translate the Greek word here with the English word moderation. It simply doesn't mean what it once did back in 1611. The relevant sense is obsolete. Unless King James readers regularly check the Greek and Hebrew, or check multiple English translations, they will misunderstand this verse through no fault of their own because English has simply changed in the last 400 plus years and through no fault of the King James translators because they couldn't predict the many subtle ways in which their English would change on its way to becoming our English. The word moderation in that phrase, let your moderation be known unto all men, is a false friend. I can't wait to read what you thought moderation meant here in Philippians 4 or 5. Hopefully now thou understandest what thou readest in the King James Version a little better.